So in the spring of 2016, the craziest thing happened, and that is that my oldest child, my son, graduated from high school. And that's crazy because it honestly seems in many ways like just yesterday he had been this curious little toddler and I had been, you know, an early 20 something who had no idea what I was doing in parenting. Fast forward, I still didn't know what I was doing, but here he was 17 and he wasn't anymore telling me every little thought that popped into his head. Um, when he was little, I could not get him to stop talking. And now I was having to guess what was going on in his mind, things were changing. And honestly, that happened much sooner than that. It was, I think he was about 12 years old when I first started crying and saying, I thought I was gonna have him longer, he's already gone. Um, and it just, it does happen so quickly. And transition is hard, change is hard, and it always hurts a little bit to let go of people we love. And one of the things that changes as your child grows is that you quickly disillusion them of the idea that you are superhuman and you make all kinds of mistakes and they see it more than anybody else and you have to say you're sorry a whole lot um, and that's hard too a little bit on your pride and to figure out like how do I relate now who who am I supposed to be in this relationship but the other side of that coin is that it's super exciting to watch somebody you care about become. And, and with him, I remember watching him start to see himself, not in the way a child does where they see their immediate wants and hungers, but um, to really start seeing himself in the context of something greater, in the context of the world, in the context of our community, and in the context of our household and family. And at the same time, to see other people, to really see other people. I almost fell down the first time he came home from school and said, hey, how was your day <laughs> to me? I was like, did you seriously just ask me about myself? That was amazing. And it was just a real turning point, you know, for him at a, whenever, whatever age that was, about 15. What I want my kids to receive from me more than anything else is unconditional love. I want them to never imagine for a second that there's anything they could say or do that would make me love them any less or make me love them any more. And I just think that's so important for us, not just in parent-child relationships, but in all our relationships, to loosen our grip a little bit and give each other a little space to breathe and to make mistakes and to ask hard questions and to have our own journey with God. Um, because in the opposite of that, is fear, fear of rejection, and the relationship can only suffer and growth can only be stunted. So I want, I want to send my kids and all my people out knowing that they can always come home. Butterfly was an image I was reluctant to use because it felt like something my son probably wouldn't connect with. Um, but in the end, um, the song is even, it's bigger than my relationship with just this one child. And, and so many times the song just has to be what the song needs to be, and Butterfly seemed the, the most fitting image for the idea of sending someone out to become who they are.